So thank you much. Thank you very much for having me today. So today I'm just going to talk about deploying SPFX solutions to your hub site and associated sites using PNP PowerShell. I love scripting scripting tools, including uh, CLI for M365. So a little bit about me. So I'm a developer. So I've been contributing to PNP open source initiatives uh, for a while now, and I've been quite lucky enough to be awarded the MVP beginning of this year. So why uh, I've built this script? So currently, um, in, in Shabon Online, the app catalog typically serve as a central repository for distributing applications. So we have two types of app catalog, one which is a site collection app catalog and the tenant level catalog catalog would have been great and useful if ever we had a concept of a hub site our catalog to be able to do target uh, deployments. So I originally built this script uh, to help uh, deploy SPFX packages um, provided by a third party supplier for our intranet hub site and associated hub site which had more than 50 plus sites. Um, and then added to the challenge, we had only one tenant and we had to create non-production sites within the same tenant for testing. So for our non-production sites, we use the site collection app catalog, while for the production, we use the tenant app catalog, which I'm going to showcase today. So using scripting can help reducing uh, time and provide consistency while managing these SPFX pa uh, packages. So in my particular scenario, um, uh, when I started, uh, it's kind of like um, uh, adding, updating, removing multiple SPFX packages for 50 plus sites can be, ca can be, can be quite time consuming. And honestly, I did it for free, four sites, and I thought like, no, um, I need a better way of doing it. So it's just in, um, like normally when you uh, deploy um, apps, maybe uh, if you uh, chose to add to all sites, then it's not a problem. But if you want like a targeted deployment, then it's um, a little bit cumbersome. So <clears throat> so for the demo today, for my setup environment, uh, I've used a sample script by Paul Bullock to set up uh, the hub and the associated sites. And uh, and then I'm using uh, community SPFX packages, mainly the PNP modern search and the PNP modern search extensibility. So if I show you how my environment is being set up, oh, sorry. Uh, so I've got a local file where I have the SP, where I've downloaded the SPFX packages. So this is uh, one. Uh, this is my hub site with the associated uh, site for all communication sites. Um, yeah. So we'll just go down to the script uh, currently. So um, <coughs> so uh, this is my script in PMP PowerShell, but I'm not go uh, going to walk through the code here. I'm just going to run it. It will take. Uh, a couple of minutes like to run. Uh oh. oh. Having some issues authenticating. Let's see. Um, okay, so it's running right now. So it will take a couple of minutes. So let's go back uh, to my uh, demo. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to cover some of the key commands I've used uh, in the script uh, just to understand a little bit more. So the first one is the add PNP app, uh, which basically uh, deploy uh, the um, package to the um, app uh, catalog. In that instant, I'm using the tenant app catalog and I'm only enabling the app and I'm not making it globally available to all sites. Um, and then the next one is, um, so if uh, I have only the package uh, com compiled SPFX uh, solution and um, I don't know the title of the, uh, of the uh, solution and uh, for most of the commanders, I, I need to know like the title of the uh, SPFX solution uh, I'm, I'm deploying so I can uh, use it. So I couldn't really find any uh, available endpoints to get that uh, uh, mapping between the cage solution and the title. So uh, in the back end of the app catalog is basically a library uh, and which sits under its own site collection of 
called App Catalog, and underneath we have the, the library apps for SharePoint. So I'm using a REST API just to call the property title and the link file name to find the title of the um, SPFX solution. So uh, in this particular one, I'm just checking uh, the install dash PNP app. So I'm checking whether the app is already installed uh, in the particular site. And if it's not installed, then I'm calling uh, install the PNP app to install uh, the uh, package onto uh, each individual site. Um, the, up, uh, the update dash PNP app commanded, um, I'm uh, calling it only when the install version in the app doesn't correspond to the app catalog version, uh, otherwise um, I'm just uh, skipping it. Um, the last one is the approved dash PNP tenant service principal permission request. I think that's the longest PNP PowerShell command I'd have seen. If you know any longest, please let me know I'm intrigued. Um, so um, uh, I've just put a link to a blog post by Andrew Connell if you want to understand a little bit more about uh, these service principal permission request. So basically, if you are requires any permissions uh, to function correctly as uh, so open deployment, it will create these uh, permission requests and you will require a global administrator to uh, provide the admin consent for it. Otherwise, um, yeah, your solutions won't function as it should. Um, yeah, so, uh, so that command is just uh, does the approval in the back end. So let's see if, uh, okay, so my script is still running. Uh, it's kind of deployed um, the SPFX packages to the sites. And uh, lastly, uh, it's just approving yeah. the permissions uh, for the app. So after running the script, you should, um, you should have it all ready, so I'll just show it. Okay, I think, yeah. So these two uh, packages have been installed at the third level catalog. And then if I look at one of the subsite or associated site, not subsite, associated site, so I can see um, my SPFX apps are ready to be used. I'm not going to uh, to show how to configure. I'm sure a lot of you already know how to do that, and there's loads of uh, uh, links um, uh, how uh, to configure PNP modern search. Um, and lastly, um, uh, I've just uh, done uh, this script only like uh, uh, this week. Um, it's just uh, because I kind of showed like the install upgrade and I thought like uh, we need an easy way uh, to remove these SPFX packages from the associated sites and um, hub site and from the tenant app catalog. So I've created a new script um, to remove uh, those just to make it easier to manage. Uh, so I'm just going to run it again and that shouldn't take that long. So let's go back to our presentation. So in the script, I'm just using to additional command which is the install dash PNP app, which removes um, the app from each site and the remove PNP app, it removes uh, the app from the app catalog uh, in that instance, the tenant app catalog. Um, yeah, so uh, generally um, you can amend, amend the script as per re your requirements to target any subset of sites. For example, if you want to target only communication sites or team sites, um, it's up to you. And uh, for one instance, for example, we had one analytics extension, uh, which uh, we didn't want it to deploy to very sensitive sites. So uh, it was not like, um, particularly targeting a hub site, but we just want to exclude those. So um, yeah, it's up to you how you want to amend and use it. Um, and then the next step may be um, just to uh, try to use this, this script from a CI/CD Python for Azure DevOps for automated deployments. Um, I have an, an alternative script that shows how if I very plan to use the site collection app catalog within each hub site and site, um, it's kind of 
are following the same principle, just using the site collection app catalog. And these are just like the re some of references where you can find um, the scripts um, I've used in the demo and one really brilliant post by Andrew Connell uh, showcasing the um, the permission requests uh, from SPFS packages. So that's all from, from me and thank you very much for listening. Mm -hmm.